How to get the most enjoyment out of each tequila type? Here are the different types. 1. Blanco Tequila. A Blanco, sometimes called Plata or Silver Tequila, can be aged in a barrel for up to 60 days, but in most cases it goes from the still to a stainless steel tank to the bottle. Skipping the aging process is also why Blancos are transparent, as is Mezcal, and have a sharp bite that some people find off-putting. However, this is the most agave-forward style. Any style of tequila can be consumed any way you like, but Blancos should be your go-to for cocktails. A good Blanco will make your margaritas and palomas crisp and refreshing. 2. Reposado Tequila. Reposado, which means rested, sits in a barrel for 2 to 11 months. This is the predominant style of tequila consumed in Mexico. It has all the flavors of blue agave, minor barrel notes, and the finish is easier on the palate than a blanco. If you prefer a smoother mixed drink with a warm flavor profile, you can swap reposado into any cocktail recipe that calls for a blanco. Or opt for one that calls for reposado in the first place. The drink I serve at most events, including the event of me getting home from a hard day at the office and needing a cocktail stat, starts with a little reposado, basil, and lime juice, and gets a pour of mezcal for good measure. 3. Añejo Tequila. Añejo, old, is aged for 1 to 3 years in an oak barrel. Any type of wooden barrel can be used but ex-American whiskey and French oak barrels are used the most. Because of this, añejos often carry a lot of flavors like vanilla and brown sugar that tend to be associated with bourbon. Aged tequilas are meant to be sipped neat. Think about it. Would you mix your Willet purple top with Coke? Same theory applies to tequila. That said, a little water or ice never hurt anybody. 4. Extra Añejo Tequila. This is aged for a minimum of 3 years and may rest in more than one type of barrel before it's bottled. Extra Añejo is considered ultra premium and the pricing reflects that. Since this extra aged spirit spends more time in contact with wood than any other variety of tequila, it has the strongest aromas and the richest amber color of any type. It also has the most complex flavor with similarities to aged whiskey and cognac. 5. Cristalino Tequila. This is a new classification that's all the rage in the VIP club scene. Aged tequila is filtered through charcoal to remove tannins. Allegedly, it softens the mouthfeel. For certain, it removes the color and turns an aged tequila back to transparent like a blanco. Marketing ploy? We'll let you be the judge. 6. Mezcal. Mezcal is like wine, it's a whole other journey. If you want to take a deep dive, you'll find out real quick that it's about more than smoke. Saying a mezcal tastes smoky is like saying a bourbon tastes like vanilla. Some varieties of agave, like the Largo, produce mezcals that taste savory and vegetal like green peppers. Others, like the Espadine, have the flavors of tropical fruits. Don't get me started on the blends. A little research into agave types and mezcaleros will help you understand what flavors a varietal is known for and who's good at making what. It takes some digging but, like the X-Files, the truth is out there.